What's up, guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. Oh, that's right, you guys. And oh, snap. Is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? So, guys, welcome back, and happy Weapon Wednesday. So, out of all the mods you guys voted for on the last week's Weapon Wednesday, this is the one that won. But, before I forget, don't forget, down there in the comment section, vote 1, 2, or 3 to see which mod we're gonna do in next week's episode of Weapon Wednesday. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, the Vorpal or Vorpal Blade, a unique dagger that has been uploaded to the uh, to Bethesda.net, that when I saw it, I didn't know if it was actually already bloodied, but in fact, it comes pre-bloodied, which is really, really cool. Now, the first thing that you notice is, one, I'm no longer an orc or a nord, I'm a sneaky Khajiit, but check this thing out. So the dagger itself is very, very cheap and can be craftable at any forge under the steel smithing category. You need three leather strips and three steel ingots in order to craft it, as well as the steel smithing perk. Now this weapon has a it has a unique enchantment on it similar to that. In fact, it it mimics Mehrun's razor. Now we all know Mehrun's razor has the very unique uh, enchantment of the weapon has a one chance. It has a chance to have a a one hit on any enemy that you that you are behind and you try and kill with. Now <clears throat> having another blade like that is kind of cool because we all know that the quest to go and get Mehrun's razor is pretty it's pretty intense, but. This dagger can act as the same thing. Now, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look. Let's see, let's come down here real quick. And we'll take a little bit of a look as to what this looks like when we put it on the ground. Let's see, can I come back into... The, there we go, okay. But I just want to take a look just like this. I love the way this blade looks. Oh my god, with the freaking light shimmering up there in the sky, the orange, the orange night sky. But okay, let's try this. So we're going to go ahead and drop this on the ground, just like that, the Vorpal blade. And don't roll off the edge. Don't roll. <laughs> don't roll off the edge, please. Let's see. Let's just put it down here then. There we go. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and go here, and let's just get nice and close up to the blade, shall we? So the first thing we see is the hilt and the actual handle of the blade. Does it say Vorpel on there? It does. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. It actually says Vorpal on the 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 part right as the blade, as the tang goes in through the handle. Kind of cool. So the blade itself is a nice, what would you call that, brownish, like, brownish copper. Um, the, the handle's a brownish copper, maybe leather, because you do indeed need leather strips um, to create this, uh, this blade. But very intricate design, very cool. But the blade itself, look at how high resolution the actual etching is. There's actually a shimmer that you can see as the light shines across it, and it makes it look 3D. And I love that. Now, this is just a freaking kitchen knife, if I've ever seen one. But the fact that you can use this in-game is super cool. Now, the blood marks... Kind of cool to see because it makes me think of like a Jack the Ripper or like, a, you know, um, a hardened assassin or something like that. You know, something like that. You know, a big a big time character in, either in real life or just in fantasy world. Just never cleaning the blade of their victims. Kind of, kind of gruesome to think about, but kind of a cool thing nonetheless. Now, this blade would one, look great on the side of any assassin in the game. And two, would look wonderful in any dagger rack in your house. Now, this blade itself has some nice stats. We have, let's, those are not its stats. <laughs> it has 45 damage, 2.5 weight, and 2700 uh, septum value. Now, hits have a small chance to instantly kill. Now, just like the Mayrun's Razor, it's probably not going to happen, but, you know, it's, it's, it's just the luck of the draw, basically. But, as far as a dagger goes, I've never really been fan, a fan of daggers, just because I've always used one-handed swords or two-handed swords or bows. But this time, it's kind of cool to be able to have a dagger where it looks really unique, and it plus it has the chance, the enchantment, and the chance to one-shot anything, or one-shot anybody, which is really cool. Plus, if you combine it with high sneak skill, and you combine it with, you know, high enchanted sneak armor and stuff like that, you're going to be a freaking recipe for disaster, especially with this blade in your hand. So, a shorter mod showcase for today, guys, but don't forget, down there in the comment section, vote a 1, 2, or 3 on which mod you want to see in the next Weapon Wednesday. And guys, I will see you in the next video.